Now to continuing coverage. The fate of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is now in the hands of the jury. Closing arguments wrapped up late this afternoon. ABC's Rena Roy has more on what was said in the courtroom. His name was George Perry Floyd Jr. The name that's forever changed the city of Minneapolis is the same one the jury will be laser focused on as they deliberate the fate of former police officer Derek Chauvin. In closing arguments, prosecutors walking the 12 jurors through George Floyd's life story, blaming Chauvin for cutting it short. What the defendant did to George Floyd killed him. It was ruled a homicide. The prosecution reminding them of the painful viral video that sparked protests around the world. Use your common sense. Believe your eyes. What you saw, you saw. For nine minutes and 29 seconds, he begged, George Floyd begged until he could speak no more. Defense attorney Eric Nelson attempting to create reasonable doubt, arguing Chauvin's actions were justified. A reasonable police officer would understand this situation that Mr. Floyd was over, able to overcome the efforts of three police officers while handcuffed. Chauvin's team also zeroing in on Floyd's drug and heart issues. For the medical experts to minimize the timing and the amount of illicit drugs that were found in Mr. Floyd's bloodstream, it is just simply incredible to me. Both sides explaining the jury's responsibility, detailing exactly each element of the laws they should consider when deliberating Chauvin's three charges of second-degree unintentional murder, third-degree murder, and second-degree manslaughter. He's facing years in prison if convicted. Ahead of the verdict, security here is very much stepped up. There are about 2,000 National Guard members on standby, and schools will be going remote starting on Wednesday. Rena Roy, ABC News, Minneapolis.